uh, sort of a teachable assistant that knows your business. What do I mean by business? And what do I mean by teachable? Well, big tech only knows your type. Um, they know what demographic category you're in. Basically, they know what you're most likely to buy. I'll give you an example of what I mean there. Um, you can't really teach it, and you can't really trust it, because it's there not to help you, really. Um, big tech knows your type, but not your needs. It, uh, so I, I put in a question about epilepsy and what causes epileptic seizures. The type of question that might be only contained in sort of your personal life, your, your journal, your interactions with your family. Um, and if you ask Big Tech that question, they're going to send you a couple ads uh, about different uh, tools you can use to manage ep epilepsy, drugs, or, or, uh, or apps. So um, we've built a chatbot uh, with a, a brilliant team of people like, like Travis and others. Uh, I'll give a big shout out to everyone who helped us in a bit. Uh, that can use these very these state of the art models that only became available um, uh, in, in November. So, um, the, the, this is very similar to the, the chart I showed last week or last month. Um, the only thing is, we've, we've started to incorporate Elasticsearch here in the, in the middle over by the, uh, in the, in the red box uh, in orange. Inside of the, the red box is the Elasticsearch module. Um, who's familiar with Elasticsearch? Excellent. Who loves Elasticsearch? Okay, not as many. It's a, it's a tricky, I love the fact that it has a, a nice web API. It's really, it's relatively straightforward to install. Alessia has been handling all the complexities of it, so maybe I'm over, um, uh, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm naively uh, happy with it. But anyway, it's a, it's a great tool. It's, it's super fast. It does some magic around indexing and finding documents. So. Uh, when, um, in order to feed a bot with context, like like uh, Travis was doing, obviously we don't, we can't do that manually. If we're asking it general questions about the world, we need a bot that can uh, search a massive corpus of documents and feed it just a few documents, rather than uh, a whole all of the web in order to answer a question. So that's what the, what Elasticsearch is, is doing for us. So when you ask our, our bot um, what uh, what triggers seizures, we have multiple mo modules, and question answering is only one of those. It also can go through ELISA or Perulbot, and then there's this conversation planner that will select the best answer among all of those, using a bunch of metrics, again, made by Travis and others, that, uh, that uh, measure the semantic similarity, like he was talking about with cats and dogs, to figure out whether that's an actually an appropriate answer or appropriate response to the question or the statement by someone. Whether they're looking for psychological help from ELISA, whether they're looking for knowledge from Perulbot, or whether they're looking for a, an answer to a specific question. Uh, using the QA bot. Um, so now is the time when I'm going to give a bunch of uh, shout outs to people that have helped me uh, this past month, and, uh, and then I'll show a demo, um, sort of like what Travis did, but I'm going to be a little more um, adventurous. Uh, this is the first time I was actually getting it to work uh, closed loop with, uh, with Wikipedia in the loop, so it's going to go out to the web and actually answer some questions, and then I'm going to have you guys help me uh, come up with some names for the bot. So uh, thanks to Jeremy, uh, who runs the, the Python user group uh, study group on Saturday mornings. I can never make that, but he was, able, he was able to bring his biotech knowledge to one of the San Diego machine learning groups to help me with uh, researching, finding some data for heart sounds for the CSD digital health course. Ingrid, who also helped me with um, uh, some genome data using PCA. Um, and the, the team roster for the actual NLPA bot. Obviously, that's not a really great name for a bot, so I hope you'll be thinking of some good, better names for a smart bot. Um, uh, Alessia is doing the Elasticsearch, like I said, and adding semantics on top of Elasticsearch with, with a module, a, a Python package called nBoost. It's a really magical combination that can actually find answers, find the, the, the exact meaning, the, the, the meaningful um, document to rep for your particular uh, query. Uh, it works just like Google. It's just um, focused entirely on what you want rather than what it wants to give you. Uh, uh, Kendra Chalky in, um, in Portland, she's working remotely to add some linguistics processing to the, to the bot. Um, She's working on uh, interpreting not only human language, but also dolphin languages with the San Diego Machine Learning Group. Uh, Mohamed Dalla, he's building a Django app uh, for a, a blog posting app that we're going to actually uh, repurpose for managing not only blog posts, but actual documents that people upload. Uh, Maria, um, big shout out to her. This is a big month for, for both of us. Um, we decided to team up our visions of a world 
where there are pro-social bots out there actually helping people rather than manipulating people have kind of converged on her vision of serving nonprofits with AI. And so we're, we've teamed up to form um, Tangible AI, and we're going to be uh, delivering this to nonprofits in the coming months. In fact, we've been invited to present at Chatbot Summit in Vegas in May, and hopefully at the San Diego um, uh, Mingle in, uh, at the end of March. Um, Travis, obviously, all things Bertie, including Sesame Street Bert. Uh, he's, he's been working on Albert and, uh, and Bert and Dill Still Bert and all the versions of Bert, plus a, a few others that don't even have Bert in their name. He's, he's trying to put some advanced uh, natural language products.